Hey everyone, good morning. It's Denise Donahue, your mortgage nerd. We are in this time of year where a lot of you are probably getting your escrow analysis statement. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And then everybody should be getting the tax assessed valuation in the mail. And um, this usually causes a lot of concern for people. So first, let's talk about the escrow storage. A lot of people, even myself, are getting letters in the mail that's saying your escrow account is short. Why is it short? I thought I had a fixed interest rate. It's not short because of your fixed interest rate with your principal and interest portion of your payment. Um, a fixed mortgage loan means that that principal and interest is going to be fixed forever and ever and ever. Um, that's the purpose of a fixed rate loan. But what can fluctuate within your payment is the hazard insurance and the property taxes. And almost nine times out of 10, it is the uh, property taxes. Now in this area, um, we get hailstorms every single year. And so whether you um, file a claim on your home or not, because of the increase in filings for people to get new roofs or if their car got damaged, it's gonna naturally increase everybody's insurance premiums because of the amount of claims that are going on. So it could be a combination of your insurance going up, which means you're gonna wanna shop it. I have a great insurance partner that shops over 200 um, insurance providers. So you definitely wanna uh, shop your insurance every single year and then your property taxes. That's the hot tamale topic. Your property taxes do typically increase every single year. But what's great is in the state of Texas, we have what's called a homestead. So if it is your primary residence, which means you actually live in the home, it's not a investment home or a second home, then you're capped at a 10% tolerance. But what the county assesses your value could be higher or lower than what, act, what a, a person on the streets might buy your home for. So if you're in the category of you get your tax assessed value and you're like, oh my gosh, this is 25 grand less than what I paid for the house, and you're worried you made a bad move, that's okay. Usually the tax assessed value is less. But if you're one of those where you're like, oh my gosh, my property taxes went up like crazy, maybe you should fight your tax assessed value. Even if it's less than market value, it's always worth fighting the tax assessed value and it's really easy to do, but we have a small window of time to do it. So this is what the form looks like that you'll get in the mail. So it's the Denton County Notice of Appraised Value. I live in Denton County, so that's why mine looks like that. You're, if you live in Fort Worth, it, maybe it says Tarrant County. Um, but you're gonna see here that there's gonna be an owner ID and a e, and an e-file pin. You're gonna need those two things. And then down here on the form, there's a website that you can go to, and there's all kinds of documentation on the back that says how you can go about protesting. So you can mail it, you can call. I feel like e-filing is the easiest. So the place where you start is you're gonna contact your real estate agent who helped you buy the home, and you're gonna say, hey, I wanna fight my property taxes. Can you run comps for me and see what my market value is? Now, it's important to, for, to tell them that you're trying to fight the tax assessed value because usually there's a range, and do you want the low range or the high range? Well, if you were thinking of selling your home, you'd want the high range, but if they know that you're trying to appeal your property value so that your taxes can go down, then they're, they're gonna be able to give you the low range. So you need to make sure that you tell them that. So you send them that text message or you send them the email and say, hey, I wanna fight my property taxes. Can you give me an idea of what my value is? Then you get that, you go online to the website. Literally, it takes five minutes. You go online, you plug in your ID number and your e-file pin, which is provided right here on the form for you, and it'll say, why are you protesting the value? Well, if you look at mine, just to give you an idea, let me bring this closer. So this will show you that the prior year, it was 279,000, and look, they're trying to jump it up to 337. And although I love real estate because it's a great investment, there's no way in heck I could sell this house for $337. So that's insane. In fact, right here in the fine print, it shows the difference between the 2013 appraised value and 2018 is 67%. Holy cow. Now, if you have a homestead on the property, it's capped 10% each year, which is great. And then down below, it gives you the deadline. So this says that I have a deadline in filing this protest May 18th. If you do not file the protest by May 18th, then you lose and your escrow account 
will end up being short because basically what this is saying is that my escrow account is collecting based on taxes of 279, not 337. So I'm going to be short in my escrow account and I'm going to get a statement in the mail that says you owe another thousand, two thousand dollars, or we're going to increase your monthly payment to cover the shortage. And that's why you have a shortage because they're increasing the value each year. There's no way it should increase this much each year. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to this stuff. I know a lot of us don't look at the mail that we get in our mailbox anymore because most of the time it's junk mail. But this time of year when it's mortgage related, you got to open those pieces of mail because your mortgage payment might be changing. So I had a client that had, um, they would just automatically, they went on their online banking and their bill pay and they had a payment sent to their lender every single month for that amount because they didn't open their mail. Well, their payment changed and, and it went up, but they didn't edit the payment that they made to the bank each month. So guess what? They were short and it showed up as late payments because the payment wasn't paid in full. So it's really important that you're paying attention to your mail. You don't want late payments on a mortgage. That is like bad news bears. So I hope that this was helpful. Open your mail, check your deadline. Don't be afraid to, afraid to protest. I literally went online today. It took me less than 10 minutes. You just plug in. I think I want to protest the value. They're going to say why. Uh, my realtor ran comps. I think it's worth this. You hit submit and they start uh, reviewing the information. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. Um, if you lost my contact information, just go to my website. All of it's posted there. You can call, email, text, uh, www.yourmortgagenerd.com. Take care.